haven't there been some teachings handed down from Jesus which form the basis of much that is good in civilization today? Nothing. Nothing. Not a single thing out of Jesus has come which has helped humanity in any way. All those teachings have proved not blessings, but curses. They are beautiful words, and because they have been repeated so often that you have and everybody has forgotten the implications of them. He says, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Looks beautiful, but basically it is ugly. It is a consolation to the poor. It is an exploitation of the poor. It is giving a false hope to the poor. And the ultimate result is that the world has remained poor. Who would not like to inherit the kingdom of God? He says that even a camel can pass through the eye of a needle, but a rich man cannot enter through the gates of heaven. Now this man is responsible for all the poverty of the world. He is condemning richness. He is condemning creativity, which can make the world rich. I am all for richness in all dimensions. And I cannot say, blessed are the poor. That is just what Karl Marx said, opium to the people. It is possible to use beautiful words, but if you go into the implications, what the Christians are doing today, and what they have done for two thousand years. They will open orphanages. They are against birth control. They are against abortion. Those who are not soon will be expelled. They are being expelled. And those who are, for example, the Pope himself is against abortion, against birth control, he is against the greatest revolution in humanity, the pill. Population goes on growing, poverty goes on growing, and who is responsible for this? I think these people are criminals. The Pope? The Pope. He should be behind the bars. Teaching such stupid things to humanity that go on producing children, they are gifts of God. He is responsible for Ethiopia, he is responsible for poor India, he is responsible anywhere poverty happens, then these people are responsible. On the one hand, they go on increasing the population, which is already too much, in the name of God. But the real thing is, 
they can convert only the poor to Christianity. I have never seen in India a single rich man being converted to Christianity. Beggars, orphans, prostitutes, these people get converted. Is there any part of Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, any of the established religions that you think uh, are good? Nothing is. I want to be finished with the whole past completely. I want it to be erased completely. I want a discontinuity with the past. Only then the new humanity is possible and a new world and a new man. So I categorically say everything is wrong. And the proof is there, the whole world is in mess. And these are the people who have given the world how to live, principles, ideologies, systems. And this is the outcome of Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, Mohammedanism. This is the outcome. You say the whole world is a mess. What is it that you're trying to create? in man, in the world? I'm simply saying that there is a way to be sane. I'm saying that you can get rid of all this insanity created by the past in you. How? How? Just by being a simple witness of your thought processes, that's my method of meditation. It is not a prayer, because there is no God to pray. It is simply sitting silently, witnessing the thoughts passing before you. Just witnessing, not interfering, not even judging. Because the moment you judge, you have lost the pure witness. The moment you say, this is good, this is bad, you have already jumped into the thought process. It takes a little time to create a gap between the witness and the mind. Once the gap is there, you are for a great surprise that you are not the mind, that you are the witness, a watcher. And this process of watching is the very alchemy of real religion. Because as you become more and more deeply rooted in witnessing, thoughts start disappearing. A moment comes, there is no thought at all. You are, but the mind is utterly empty. That's the moment of enlightenment. That is the moment when you become for the first time unconditioned, sane, really a free, human being.